Let's consider this question. To evaluate this, the denominator is enclosed in a greatest integer function, while both the numerator and denominator are enclosed in absolute value function. Next, wherever I see x, it will be replaced with 1 over 4, as seen in the question. That is, instead of x, I'm going to have 1 over 4 in their positions. Next, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, and 2 here is 1, and 2 here is 2. Hence, you are going to have 1 over 2. Also, these two are the denominator. We square 1, and we also square the 4, which you have here. Next, consider the denominator. 1 squared is 1, and 4 squared is 16. Next, if you solve this carefully, you are going to get minus 13 over 2 at the numerator. Subsequently, if you solve the denominator, you are going to get 31 over 16. And 31 over 16 is the same as 1.94 to 2 decimal places. Next, at the denominator, consider the greatest integer function of 1.94. 1.94 is very close to 2, but between 1 and 2. And the conventional direction of greatest integer function is usually towards the left only. And it accepts only integers. No fractions or decimals is allowed at the output. The greatest integer function of 1.94 is the next integer towards this direction which is 1 hence everything here is equal to 1 next everything at the denominator is just 1 next anything divided by 1 will return back the value without the 1 next minus 13 over 2 is enclosed in absolute value function. An absolute value function rejects negative. Hence, you now have 13 over 2, which is our final answer. You can check out other videos in Precalculus and you can locate all the videos following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.